What is up? This is Paul Taking With Precious, your sister, your cousin, your neighbor, and your friend. Listen, today we're going to be politicking about Jimmy Donaldson, a.k.a. Mr. Beast. I know y'all seen all the controversy behind the Mr. Beast and the Chris Tyson turning into a woman and leaving his wife and child. And he was a part of Mr. Beast's production team. Listen, it's getting worse than that. But let me start off by saying... I came across Mr. Beast probably about three to five years ago. I can't really tell, but it's in that range somewhere. And as soon as I seen him, I seen how idiotic some of the games and some of the stunts he was doing. I was seeing how idiotic it was. And then I was like, mm, well, we had like jackass when we were like teenagers and very young adults, like 18, 19, 20, you know, watch them grow up doing dumb stunts and stuff on their bikes and with animals, just dumb shit, you know, just being reckless, doing dumb shit, living on the edge. But when I sat back and thought about Mr. Beast, I was like, they're doing like stuff with like balloons. Let's pop 2 million balloons in a bubble. Um, let's, I mean, just absolute ridiculous things like, um, uh, let's live in, in, in the rain, in a tent, in a storm and, uh, put spiders in each other's tent or, you know, let's, let's pick daisies. Uh, we're picking a million days. He, the type of crowd that he was drawing in was, I could tell was a very, 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 young age prepubescent that's the that's the type of crowd he was bringing in now let's 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 just take a look here um he had these people part of his production team the chris tyson thing was controversial enough you know and mr beast thought that he could keep this man a part of his team who has transgender just transitioned i can't even say the word right it's not supposed to roll off your tongue like that but um who has transitioned and of course we're in this whole lgbtq era um where everything is just supposed to be accepted listen i'm a firm believer of let people be who they are as long as it doesn't hurt anyone else but they're hurting people on so many grotesque levels. Like you want to transition is one thing, but publicizing that you leaving your wife and children and you have not made any posts or remorse for anything about anything that you've done. Of course, people are supposed to respect your decision, but there's a way of going about things and handling things the proper way. And that was grotesque in itself, leaving your family to just do what you want to do. And then it came out that this same person left his, his the same person who worked for Mr. Beast very close on his production team and was in several videos. Not only did he turn into a transgender and leave his wife and kids because he wanted to be a woman. He also was caught and was outed for um, talking to very, very, very young children. Now it's come out that another person on the production team who was also put in videos is actually on the sex offender registry. He has to register as an offender for a child, a minor child under the age of 11. And Mr. Beast and HR, his production team, um, his PR team, everyone was aware of this particular person working for Mr. Beast and what the allegations and what not allegations, full blown charges on him, uh, convicted because he has to be on the registration. He has to, <laughs> he has to register himself as an offender. 
that means prosecuted and convicted. And because they know this, they put them in the videos with the mask on. So people can't readily pick up on exactly who he is through his face grotesque on so many levels what about those victims who is probably in their teenage years or young very young adult years have to see a person who has taken such advantage of them and taken away something that they cannot get back um is on this huge huge platform that's so intimidating in itself and you see in this person day in and day out basically grooming other children like they groomed you now listen it makes perfect sense why mr beast has these type of people around him um one yeah, one, birds of a feather flock together. That saying is true for a reason. Okay? Birds of a feather flock together. I can't hang out with a drug addict. You on, you on hard drugs and you on that bite and you on that mail and you on that, uh, you on all of that. Guess what? We're not going to get along because you do dope fiend shit. Same with a predator. They do predatorial shit. They do grooming shit. Their body language speaks for themselves. They do looks. They have looks. They stare at people too long. Stare at children too long. <laughs> the signs are there. And people know who they're dealing with. Mr. And then, too, Mr. Beast wanted these type of people on the platform because they gravitate towards children and they, in their sick, predatorial minds, um, know the things that will attract children and they don't mind being silly and goofy and doing the things that will attract young children. So it doesn't surprise me that Mr. Beast was well aware of the people that he had on his production team because they were trying to target a certain audience and they got it. They got it. And not only are they, they grooming these children, they are... Taking these children's money. F drop $5 here, $10 there. We're going to do a, a contest. If you subscribe now and drop $10, your you'll name will be put in a bucket and you'll get a signed t-shirt from me and we'll send you a thousand balloons in the mail. These six, seven, eight, nine year olds right now, they know how to work the computer they know how to make payments to the computer they know how to order door dash and things like that so mr beast know what he's doing and he also has people that study the psychology of children and how to groom them and how to manipulate their minds that should be illegal in itself his whole operation should be shut down it's not ed for educational purposes they're doing dumb shit and us as parents have to be hyper aware, especially with technology, social media, media, whatever. We have to be hyper aware of the predators on not just offline, especially online nowadays. You have to be aware of what your kids is watching. Go in your kids' room and lay across their bed and, and just look at them, watch their iPad and just talk a little bit. See what they're watching. They they may be thinking they're watching this silly guy pop a million balloons um on a boat. But in my mind, I'm thinking, what's this all about? What's the end game? What's the motive? Why is he trying to capture a child's um mind by going in the middle of a forest and popping a million balloons Ooh, it's cool out here people should come out here with me kids and go in the middle of the forest where there's no body nowhere you can't hear anyone scream or anything listen this whole mr beast thing is getting darker and darker and darker by the minute this is like modern day reading rainbow it's something real creepy going on here why the reading rainbow why couldn't he just say it was the reading circle Listen, this is your sister, your cousin, your neighbor, your friend. You already know, politics and more precious. Like, comment, and subscribe. You already know it don't cost you a thing to roll with me. Listen.
pay attention to what the kids is doing, what what your kids is doing. And if it's any kids listening to me right now, listen, watch out for Mr. Beast kids. Unsubscribe. Listen, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.